Hello guys, this is RDU from Team MYM and this is my Rush Hunter Guide. A deck that has been present in this meta for a long long time and is very good at the moment. Probably not the best because Mianca Ryok still exists but one of the best decks. Let the hunt begin! I will present you every card of this deck, why I chose them, potential combos, weaknesses of the deck, strong parts of the deck, matchups and many other things, so stay tuned. Hunter's Mark This card is used to clear the monsters your opponent has. It's probably one of the best removals in the game, being zero cost, you only need it to you only need to combine it with other cards like Stonta's Boar or the Unleash the Hounds. Arcane Shot is my standard uh, damage spell. It's there just to do some damage, to clear some monsters or to potentially even finish your opponent off. Flare. Flare is a very strong card. It's best used versus uh, other hunters in the mirror matchup or versus midrange hunters. But, it's best use is to kill freeze mages. You can just flare in the last turn before killing a freeze mage that has an ice block or any other trap and they will uh, not be able to use it. So you get a free win. Tracking. Tracking is the best card in the hunter deck in my opinion. You can search for uh, every card you need in a, in a special situation. It's very vers versatile and uh, versatile sorry and it's very strong in my opinion for example you can use it in the start of the game to get yourself an animal companion or a jungle panther or, or a loot hoarder or whatever or you can use it in the last turns of the game just to get the, the league or you waited all the game to get to finish your opponent or you can get the drop or whatever this card has so many uses that i often choose to keep it in my starting hand unless i have leper gnome leper gnome is the best uh, card you can play in the first turns of the game, but it usually sucks later on the game. I prefer to start. I love to start with Lepernome in my first hand. It's such a strong card and very powerful, dealing at least two damage and less silenced, and uh, with a big potential of dealing at least four damage if the opponent chooses to attack it. Stone Task Boar has a lot of uses. It might it might look very bad, like one cost, one one charge nobody why would ever why would somebody why would somebody ever use this card it looks shitty well the reason for people to use this card is because you can just use this and hunter's mark to kill any monster in the game or you can use this plus buzzers to draw some cards or you can use this plus kill command to deal five damage to your opponent uh, six if he doesn't have any towns or you can use it to pop other secrets or a lot of stuff. This card is so vers versatile as tracking that you have to play two of those. It's very strong in my opinion. Probably one of the best cards in this deck. And being golden it looks awesome. Now the three traps. One explosive, one misdirection, two freezing. A lot of people play with double explosive, one freezing, zero misdirection or whatever combination. I like double freezing because it's probably the best and n not that many people play aggro anymore so I don't consider it two explosive traps. In a meta with a lot of zoo I would play two explosive traps. Loot Warder is the best card draw at the moment in the game. Is one of the best uh, two drops but if you get him on late game he will probably lose the game because it's a dead draw. Unless you can afford to do something like loot order and arcane shot him free mana to go one card potentially bad but can uh, win you the game if you go into a leeway or something i don't know um starving buzzard and unleash is uh, used with unleash or animal companion or just to trigger kill command it used to be the best combo in the whole game but now after the nerf it's a decent combo that you manage to pull a lot but not at a great success you, in the past you also played Timberwolf but now it's just too much mana and I don't think Timberwolf finds his uh, place in this deck I personally don't want Timberwolf because he's inconsistent 
Aegorhorn Bow is uh, the best card versus uh, heavy decks like Warrior or Druid. If you get these and some uh, traps, you might win the game, even if the matchup is not favorable. Animal Companion used to be one of the best cards in this deck, but I only run I only run one because of the RNG. I don't like to get the Leoc when I don't need it, or a half when I need a town, or a town when I need the Charger. So it's pretty inconsistent, but only one Animal Companion is okay in some situations. You can uh, you have to rely on RNG sometimes in this game, and you can I like to use Animal Companion just to trigger kill command. Or to set up lethal, for example, if you need 4 damage, you get lethal, you can just play Animal Companion and you have a 33% chance to get the half or you need to get the lethal. It's worth sometimes. Kill Command is so strong, like, 3 damage just for clearing something, but usually it's 5 damage because you run a lot of beasts in your deck. Unleash the Hounds used to be the best card in the game, but now it's a decent card, mediocre. I like to use it, you can use it to clear the board, or to draw cards, or to set up lethal. Very strong card overall. This card, Jungle Panther, is a card that didn't see so much love in the past, nobody played this. But now, in the current meta, I like to think it as this, as an animal companion with zero RNG included. Let's think of this card as a huffer. Huffer is 4-2 for free mana cost. Well, ha let's... Uh, so, Huffer is the best animal companion you can get. But, you only have 33% chance. If you get Huffer, he's a 4-2 charge that will 90% of the times die the next turn. So, you only pay free mana for 4 damage. Essentially. This card, you play it, Usually, like 90% of the time, or even almost 100 in some decks, it will remain. Mo no, no opponent, no, uh, it's very hard for the opponent to deal to damage. Without having spell power or a huge board or a special class like uh, Handlock to play Shadow Flame or stuff like that. So usually this card survives. If it survives one turn and you can attack your opponent directly, it's the same as Huffer, but with zero RNG. I like this card so much in this meta. It bursts your opponent down and you can abuse it. Also you can use it to just uh, clear the border or if you if your opponent has a taunt, for example if you play half or into a taunt, you cannot attack because it will die. But if you play jungle panther and your opponent plays a taunt, you can just let jungle panther there sit, sit until you clear the taunt and you will have uh, free damage on your opponent. So you can just let Jungle Panther for like 5 turns or 4 turns on the field. Leroy Jenkins is the best card of the deck. 6 damage instantly. Combos with uh, Unleash. Use, used to combo with uh, Unleash and Timberwolf in the past, but I usually like Leroy just with Unleash or even alone for the needed damage. So let me present the good and, ma and bad matchups. This matchup, this uh, deck has a strong, almost 100%, well it's never 100%, it's like 90% versus Freeze Mage. This deck completely obliterates the Freeze Mage. It destroys it, like... <laughs> just keep Flare in your starting hand, or tracking and look for a Flare, and you will win. You just need to press Hero Power, like Hero Power, Hero Power, Hero Power, Hero Power. Then Flare, bam, you win. So easy matchup. Uh, Miracle Rogue is 50-50, other matchups like Zoo are 50-50, if you want to beat Zoo more often, just play Double Explosive Trap, just beg to RNG Jesus for the Unleashes, it's not that hard, it's not that a hard matchup. Uh, hard matchups are Druid and Warrior, they are hard, not impossible, like on, in Freeze Mage, because you can kill them if you have the bow, Warrior has no town, so if you need, you need, you just need a little bit more damage. And you, you need your opponent not to Harrison Jones your weapon. And you will probably win versus Warrior a lot of times. Or it will be a very close game. Not like with Freeze Mage. Versus Druid you can win pretty easy. If you get to Hunters mark their towns. And to outpace them starting with like Lepernom turn 1. Loot Hoarder turn 2. Animal Companion turn 3. Coin Animal Companion stuff like that. Jungle Panther. Just gain the tempo and you will win the game very easy. <coughs> this deck... 
was played a lot in the past, but now it came back into the meta after a period of only mid-range hunter. I really like this deck a lot, it feels strong in my opinion. I think it has a good chance versus uh, most of the decks this meta and you saw it played uh, very good in Dreamhack by Gara and Amaz and uh, in tournaments like Zotac or Gosu it's a very common deck for example I play, I myself played uh, this deck in Gosu Cup uh, on uh, Sunday if I'm not mistaken and I got to the finals well I didn't play only this deck but I played this deck in some rounds uh, I played this deck on stream with zero delay so even if my opponent potentially knew my cards I would still win because this deck is so strong it has a lot of burst and if you are the kind of guy that likes to burst your opponent down to make him feel the pain of not playing a taunt in one turn then this is the deck suited for you so this was my hunter guide made by RDU from team MOM I hope you enjoyed see you later don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, uh, Twitch, and like my Facebook page. Cheers!